What's going on, comic book YouTube community? It's Mike the Collector, finally doing my top 50 comics in my collection video. Um, it's going to be majority Rawls, variants, first appearances, and then I'll end it with uh, about a dozen slabs. So, let's get this going quickly. First up we have... X Factor 5 and 6. I count that as one book. They go together. First cameo of Apocalypse. First Apocalypse. Then we have some uh, Rob Liefeld goodness. McFarlane Inks. New Mutants 87. First appearance of Cable. Can't have that one without New Mutants 98. First appearance of Deadpool. Another Rob Liefeld. Dope ass cover. Next we have Uncanny X-Men 135. Little Chris Claremont, John Byrne, Dave Cochran cover. Love the covers where they interact with the logo of the book. Just classic cover. Classic book. Keep going with a little bit of Uncanny X-Men 136. Again, Claremont Burn. Dave Cockham cover. Uh, I, there's just nothing else you can say about that. Look at that. I mean, this has been swiped so many times. <coughs> DC Superman. Then, we have Uncanny 141, 142. A little bit of uh, Days of Future Past. Burn. Burn. Burn, burn, burn. Great story. Great, great, great story. If you haven't read it, read it. Then we have newsstand copy of Uncanny 221. Silvestri cover. Claremont writing. First appearance of Sinister. I love uh, Silvestri's uh, X-Men run. <clears throat> then we have Uncanny 244, first appearance of Jubilee. Not on the cover. Eh, it's alright. It's one of those first appearances that are like that, but can't go wrong. Now, let's move on to some variants. It's going to be a lot of the same artists. Return of Wolverine, number one, Campbell, Glow in the Dark. This was a New York Comic Con exclusive in 2018, I believe. Dope cover. Then we have, I believe, ASM number two. This is the Mark Brooks exclusive. Virgin covers. Black Cat is uh, Carnage, Venom. Anti-Venom. Beautiful painted covers. Then we have my all-time favorite artist drawing my favorite two characters in comic books. Mr. Joe Madreira. House of X number one. I believe it was a one in 50 or one in 25. I don't remember. Love it though. He needs to come back to comics. Then we have X and Furnace number one, the Campbell variant. Nothing, can't really say much about it, man. It's just a dupe cover, top or bottom. Then we have Mark Brooks again. I, I can't even remember what issue this is, but I'm pretty sure it's an ASM book. Got her in her classic costume, and then you got her in old Pete's costume. Got a zipper. Didn't really know Pete's had a zipper. She would know, though, right? And then we have a Marauders cover by Mike Mayhew. This is the Virgin. Ugh, just, just a stunning cover. Back to Campbell. Extraordinary X-Men number one variant. It's just a dope magic cover by Campbell. 
He does what he does very well. Then we have Uncanny X-Men number one, I believe. Mark Brooks Virgin. Classic 90s costumes. Can never go wrong with those. And I'll just put these two together. But We have the Wolverine number one and the Uncanny X-Men 21. John Tyler Christopher covers the the neon just uh, the negative space man these these are hot 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 covers some more 90s X-Men goodness uh Campbell uncanny X-Men number one sign yeah I ke I can't get enough of 90s X-Men Uncanny X-Men number one, or yeah, Mark Brooks exclusive, just a phenomenal White Queen cover. Then we have X-Men Black, Emma Frost number one, this is the Adam Hughes version variant. Don't really have to say much about that either, I suppose. Then we have X-Men Black Magneto number one, the Campbell Virgin. He doesn't draw men very often, but when he does, man, he just killed this cover. Favorite villain. Now we have X-Force number one, the Addy Granov cover. I don't know what he's done lately, but man, it just seems like he's uh, stepped his game up quite a bit last couple of years. Then we have X-Men Black, Emma Frost number one, Virgin variant, Campbell again. Thor 705, the one in 50, one in 75, I can't remember, but this is a Ji Hyung Lee, I believe. It's just, I'm not even a Thor fan, but when I saw that cover, it was just, it's stunning. <clears throat> Black Cat number one by Campbell. This was a store exclusive for, uh, I want to say Big Apple Comics but, or something like that, but I can't remember. But this is the Virgin. Love it. And then we have The Amazing Spider Man Renew Your Vows number eight, Vary by Clayton Crane. This is uh, Mary Jane with the Venom symbiote. Probably my favorite Clayton Crane cover. Doesn't get enough love. Then we have, and I can't remember what issue of X Men, but here's the the Campbell covers. Can't ever go wrong with Savage Land. You got a big ass dinosaur in the background. Dope. Ji Hyung Lee, X Men number one, or three, Virgin variant from Eastside Comics, right here in Pennsylvania. Psylocke. The glare is terrible in the Mylar, but this book is sharp. Well, uh, like I said, burn covers get swiped quite a bit, man, and here's a. Uh, X Men number four, Uncanny X Men number fourteen, Campbell, or what issue one I believe. Campbell, love it. X Men number one, one in one hundred, Chris Boccolo. <clears throat> this is actually uh, an homage to Star Wars poster. Just think of the lightsaber, Luke. You get it. Daredevil 612, Campbell doing another dope rendition of a male character. I think this was a 1 in 100.
one of Campbell's all-time greatest covers. Amazing Spider-Man 601. And just because I have it, we'll just throw in Black Cat 1. Campbell exclusive. I mean, look at those. Boom. ASM 14 or 10 virgin variant black cat spider-man Campbell it's all you need uncanny x-men number 10 the Dave Finch variant I don't think it was a ratio maybe one in ten I don't know but Finch killed it he is one of the masters at cross hatching throwing in all them shading beautiful cover New Mutants number one, I believe this is, yeah, the Dead Souls, Magic, Campbell, done. Return of Jean Grey number one, Campbell, this was the, uh, I want to say it was an exclusive for San Diego, I'm not sure, I don't remember, beautiful. Speaking of me, New Mutant Dead Souls, we have all four of the Mark Brooks variants, all signed, three virgin, different costumes, dope. And last for the Rawls, New Mutants, Addy Granov, White Queen, Magic, boom, I mean, I'm telling you. If you can see just the texture and the leather of the chair there, I mean, it's dope. Now, let me clear these away for a second, and then we're going to go to the slabs to finish this video up. First slab is probably my favorite Campbell cover of all time. ASM 607. Sign, 98 white pages, yellow label. I mean, yeah, probably my favorite cable cover of all time. Then we're going to kick it back to the 90s. Not a very valuable book or hard to find book, but uh, dude, this is my favorite storyline ever. X-Men Alpha number one, signed by Madrera, Scott Lobdell, 9-8, white pages, 90s chromium goodness, wrap around. Mr. and Mrs. X number one, the Campbell Virgin variant, signed by Campbell, 9-8, white pages, my two favorite characters by uh, one of my favorite artists. Can't go wrong. X-Men 205. First appearance of Hope Summers. Campbell variant. Signed by Campbell. 9-6 white pages. Eventually, I got to get the statue of that white queen. Stick it with the book in a display case. <clears throat> then we have Uncanny X-Men 510. Signed by Campbell, 9-6, white pages. Beautiful. This sits with my uh, Sideshow Psylocke statue. Now we're getting into some older stuff, wrapping it up. I'm getting X-Men 129, 9-4, white pages. First appearance of Kitty Pride, white queen, Sebastian Shaw. That just one of the best runs in all of comics, man. Clear out and burn. Take it to 1967. We have X-Men 28. First appearance of Banshee. 5-0, all four eight pages. A little further back, 1965. X-Men 12, 
4.0 off white pages first appearance of juggernaut origin of juggernaut origin of professor x that old 60s red it just pops one of the ugliest covers in all of comics but one of my favorite books regardless avengers annual number 10 First appearance of Rogue and Madeline Pryor, 9.6 white pages, signed by Al Milligram and Chris Claremont. X-Men Annual 14, 9.6 white pages. First cameo appearance of Gambit, but I, I still say it's the first appearance of Gambit, and just in case... I have a 266 to go with it. 9.6 white pages. I say that's the first appearance. A lot of people say that is. It doesn't matter. I got them both. Same grade, same page quality. We're good. <clears throat> Two more books. I just got this one a couple weeks ago and it was... It's one of my big grails, so... Any chance I get to show this book, I'm going to. X-Men 101, first appearance and origin of Phoenix. 9-4, white pages, beautiful Dave Cockrum cover. I mean, yeah, big, big, big book. And last book in my top 50... And the only reason it's number one, it's the first book that ever got me into comics. X-Men number one, volume two, but nine, eight, white pages, signed by Chris Claremont, Jim Lee, Scott Williams, and Stan the Man Lee. Woo, 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 woo. First appearance of the Alkalites, like that matters, but that's the book that got me in it. 1991, I was 11 years old. That's not my original copy, by the way. I bought it like this, uh, probably two months before Stan died, but <clears throat> Claremont's writing got me. Jim Lee's art definitely got me. So, uh, yeah, that's my big book. So uh, we'll leave that there. Uh, thanks for watching. If y'all liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button, like button, comment, whatever. It don't matter. I'll, I'll get back to y'all. Uh, and that's it for this video. Take it easy, guys.